Well, Steve Logan happy with the end of right at the last couple of seconds of that round because really he came over the top due to that reach for forearm smash. But until then, he was in a bit of trouble. That backhand and the double arm. Moran sportingly comes over and shakes his hand. Good bite. Round five. Five. Four rounds to go, still no sign of any score. Not a real attempted pinfall yet. A couple of attempted submissions, but didn't work. Logan on the left in the light yellow trunks. <coughs> versus Rocky Moran. The back elbow is going into the stomach from that elbow, can't do too much. Damage to the back of the neck near distance. The line, even when in a position like that, has to attack. It's hardly stopped throughout the whole bout so far. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not knowing where that was coming from, and he'll take a ride after he landed. After Logan had landed. Nice Here we go back to the swinging uppercuts again. Right under the chin. Logan a little bit, little bit uh, woozy now. He's taking an awful lot of those and of those. And it's over the top and taking his man right down and over the top for a cross press. Moran could have it this one. Yes, he's got it. Only one minute, 50 seconds. Round five is Rocky Moran getting the first pinfall on young Steve Logan from Birmingham. Peter Bucks. Ladies and gentlemen, in round five, the first fall of the contest to Rocky Moran. Peter Bates, our MC for the afternoon's program, gets out of the ring with that colossal Manchester <laughs> United rosette on his uh, chest there. But it's Moran, he's feeling a bit happier now. Three rounds to go. Let's see whether Logan can come back into this. Second way, round six. Round six, three to go. Moran and the red leotard there on the left. Leading Steve Logan by one fold in it. Now, if Logan can give away two stone, or almost two stone, and come back against this man, he will have done well enough here at least. We think so at ringside. I think that, um, they've both got a great future. And Logan being the youngest, maybe has even more time to go than Rocky, but. Really give us a good bite here this afternoon. So Logan still determined to get those weakness on Moran's left arm in order to follow through with some form of pinfall or submission. Press a bit no, and around the show will be off this time the right. Just not sufficient weight, Logan, to hold him in that cross press position. Not unless he gets him severely weakened first. Read to that hole, but I'm not sure. Really fine. No, 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 no. New style of referees hold. It's one minute left. Round six. 
If you want to leave, want me to leave go that much, I'll do it. Not a sign of any foul move from either of these two men yet. Great to see you. Yeah. 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 Just about 10 seconds left for Nelson. Unusual that Logan had a pretty good full Nelson on Moran. You wondered here at ringside whether Moran could break it. He broke it, but Logan got it back all in one move. I don't think I've ever seen that, not for a long time, anyway. There he is, Rocky Moran from Belfast. That two stone waiting around his doing him some good. He's leading by one and L. Two rounds to go. He started round seven for Logan to come back. He's got to get the equalizer in the seventh round if he wants to give himself a chance for the winner in the final round. Bring him out. New star guillotine by Logan. Logan really taking over at the start of the seventh. He's got to get the equalizing call. As soon as possible to give himself time. Okay, right foot just over the top, and the defense going. Putting around in the face. Yes, team down all the way to low and over the top and holding it. Holding press, beautiful down. Beautiful down by Logan. Just one minute, five seconds in the round seven, and there is the equalizer to Steve Logan. Ladies and gentlemen, in round seven, the equalizing fall to Steve Logan. A big grin on his face, very happy with that. He told him he's getting a bit near the end of the bout. Now he's given himself a chance for a win by leaving himself one clear round after his equalizer. One fall each, and still sporting. Rocky Moran comes over to congratulate him on an excellent move, which ended in that equalizer. Second away for the eighth and final round. So now's the test. Can we get a winner here? One fall each. Logan having just come back. A yellow trunk on the left. Got to be a bit careful here with this heavier and more powerful man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was a high side headlock to start with. More to hold him oh, to get a oh, score from. Oh, Strong moves coming in by Moran. Yeah. Flying tackle, nicely over the top. Can he throw that cross cross? No, not from that angle. Insufficient weight. Two minutes left in this box. Moran's touch back. White ball and throw. Nice leg over the top of the fold. Holding press from the side this time, but couldn't hold it from that angle. And it's a double arm by Moran. On the way to a suplex throw. At the ropes caught. And that's the first time that Max Ward has had occasion to talk to either of these fellas. And I think from the future, I haven't seen any private warnings yet. 
just enthusiasm, that's what it is. Uh oh, crossed. Crossed hands. Trying another one, but this time around, waiting for him over the top. Very near. Very near fun. Logan neatly out of that, just in time. And a little under a minute to go in this final bout. Round. And once again, Moran resorting to this swinging uppercut. Very near the ropes. 40 seconds to go. One net. One net. wasn't going to, but he thought he'd try again, but he has no chance, and he knows it. 30 seconds. And uh, these two fellows will have to be pretty quick for a good result here. Triangle hold, 12 seconds to go. Five, four, three, and he's too late. It's got to be a one for each draw, but what a great contest. And I hope it won't be long before we see these two men in the ring again. I'm sure it was. Really good. Listen to the appreciation of the crowd here at Castle. Each contestant having gained one for each, the referee's decision on a very fitting one.